Hey guys, this is Desi the Blonde at MSN.com. Okay, what I'm going to show you <clears throat> is what I won last night. Uh, we went to, um, this is um, a fire safety blanket. Okay, there's a company out here in Missouri that has uh, smoke alarms. And what they did is they, I won tickets for 10 people to go do a free steak dinner. But man, I couldn't find 10 people. Why? Because they didn't think it was legal. Well, I found my girlfriend Jane and her boyfriend, Larry. And then I found my girlfriend, um, Jennifer, her boyfriend, Brian. Well, what it is, is these are top-notch uh, smoke alarms. They're a lot different from the regular smoke alarms you would have. Now I can't fold this sucker back up right. But what it does, <coughs> this is going to go get put on my, between my kitchen and my bathroom, uh, bedroom wall. I do have uh, four bedrooms, one bath here, okay? What they do is they explain to you where you should put your smoke alarms, what could cause fires, you know, fire hazards. Try to prevent fire hazards. And then turn around and uh, keep track of your fires. You know, if you got stuff that's piled up, get rid of it. You don't need it, get rid of it. Sell it. Um, what I did is I won this. Like I said, I won this last night. Um, with my bag. Okay, it goes into this little bag. It says... Fire blanket, pull tabs to release blanket. Material certified by SGA, SGS to uh, a, ASTM standard. <laughs> www.pyrotechfire.com. I will contact them and tell them I did a video today. It's used to distinguish accidentally cooking fires or clothing fires. Pull tabs to release blanket, hold blanket over a shield position and place it over the fire or your body. Switch off the heat. Leave covered until cool for a minimum of 20 minutes. Uh, size of blanket is 36 by 36. Okay, we got a free steak dinner. We went over here to Club 60. I have never been in the Club 60. I guarantee it. That is one of the better places to eat here in town. Um, I did do pictures last night. They're on Facebook, so you can check them out. But I'm going to ask you guys, if you would like to have, uh, get a minimum of 20 people, 20 to 30 people, they can arrange it to have free dinner for you and your husband or your boyfriend. You don't have to own the house. You can rent a house. You don't have to own an apartment. You can rent an apartment. You can put these smoke alarms into the apartments, houses, wherever you need. They can also be put into your garages where you have your car stored, your boat stored, or your storage unit. Um, they can run fairly cheap uh, depending on what you want. You know, my girlfriend Jane and her boyfriend uh, are going to get it because they live in the trailer. The brother lives in the trailer, but Larry's got a couple building outbuildings. I'll have to fix this. But, <coughs> another gift. I won this one early last year. I'm going to show you it, it. It's a genuine emergency prep kit. Alright. In this prep kit, you roll it up, you put it in here. You have some extra wipes and stuff that goes like this stuff is supposed to go in the car. Okay, this is from the same company, but different, the different ones, depending on who, who you see, will give you the blanket if you win, or you can get one of these. Uh, this one is emergency poncho or emergency blanket. This is supposed to be in my car. I haven't put it in there. Uh, procedure mask, whistle, light stick, radio with headphones, and flashlight and battery. That's supposed to be in my car. Or it could be stayed in the house in case something happens. Uh, assorted adhesive bandage and towelettes, cotton uh, thing. 
that's supposed to be in your house for your burns. Medium cuts, burns, severe burns. First aid tape roll, combined pad, roller gauge, roller gauze, bandage, sterile gauze pad, antiseptic towels, antibiotic ointment, sterile eye pad, eye wash, burn cream. That is supposed to be in the house. Final gloves. This is for CPR. Alcohol pads, insect stink relief pad, chillable aspirin, triangle bandage, instant cold compress, CPR breathing barrier, hand sensor, car. So you're supposed to put, I gotta put uh, number one and number five in my truck. Plastic tweezers, sorted safety pins, emergency uh, preparedness, refill guide, emergency aid guide, thermometer strip, scissors, wooden finger splint. This could be in the backpack. Or in the house, you know. Uh, like me, I walk seven miles a day, eight miles a day up and down this road. So uh, I do carry bandage and stuff in my backpack. But you can either get one of these two gifts. This one comes like rolled up. So uh, all you gotta do, and then if you want extra carry extra stuff, you got two little beauty pockets here. Okay, I won this at Springfield Festival. Um, it was our farm fest. Everybody said, oh, the farm fest is bullshit. Well, it's not. I guarantee it. Um, I had taken Jennifer and Brian. This is their, their first year, Cecil, Cecil Hudson, too. I uh, took him to the farm fest. Well, I should say he drove me. Um, <clears throat> there was quite a few people there. Yeah, a lot of people. And um, what I do is I enter 99% of the contest. And then sometimes it takes a couple of weeks for them to get back with you, uh, depending on which company it is or who it is. Uh, they will get back with you with your winnings. This company um, got back with me. I kept hanging up on them because I thought it was a crank call. But then when the lady said, no, you won on the um, farm fest, so I knew I had to take and accept the call. Well, they called me yesterday and said, can you get six to ten people to go to dinner? Yeah. I called Cecil, said, we're going to dinner. Called Jennifer and Brian, told them they came up from Republic. My girlfriend came up from uh, Houston. So it's not really that far to Mount Grove, but, you know, it's far enough. We had a great steak dinner, potatoes, salad, drink. And these steak dinners aren't cheap, people. I guarantee you this was like a $40 dinner or more. All right, the company said back up, back this company that does these presentations, uh, pay for the dinners. So if you guys want to, uh, if you're in the Springfield area, Kabul, you know, all that area, let me know. You can contact me at uh, my email at desideblonde at msn.com or text me at 417-554-1088. Uh, if I can get 30 more people, we can probably get a dinner right after Thanksgiving and keep going. Uh, if you can bring, if you can bring, uh, if the company calls you and says, can you come to the dinner and ask you to bring two to three more people, you can win a gift, okay? And all you have to do is sit there and listen to them about fire safety. It's worth it. You get a free dinner, you get to meet a bunch of new people, you know, hang out for a couple hours. So guys, think about it, let me know, I'll get a hold of these guys, and uh, the, the guys up in m and &M, hey, I know y'all listen to my, my uh, things, if y'all want to get together, I know there's probably about 40 of you in the m and &M. Uh, as sellers and buyers, um, if you'd like to meet up in Springfield, because you're in all in the Springfield area mainly, if you want to meet up in Springfield, let me know. Um, there's three or four different places that they will meet. Uh, the meal is brought to you, prepared for you, and then you know you you we've got his private room. He'll sit down and talk to y'all, and then. Yet, you know, y'all can uh, have a nice dinner.
So let me know and I'll get back with you guys with my other gifts this afternoon. My bat and uh, I'm getting a thing to go on the window for the dogs. If you have pets, uh, it's advisable to keep those little stickers on the window. They're not only about two inches, maybe three inches tall. It says, I have pets in the house. Or break my window. I have pets, which means a dog or cat, a bird, a fish, a snake or whatever. You know, you put it on there what you have. And then the fire department will look for that dog unless you brought them out already. You know, uh, your first instinct is to get out of the house. Right, okay. Hey, where's the kids? Are they in the back rooms? You better think about it, okay? Let me know, and uh, we'll get, you know, well, because Thanksgiving's next week, but they can have it right after Thanksgiving, guys, and right up to a week before Christmas. This is would be a great idea for y'all. Um, I know a lot of y'all live in apartments, but the apartments are, they can still do it. You can talk to your landlord. In fact, that's what I'm going to do today. See if my landlord will get this fire um, alarm put in this house. Won't cost them that much because you know why? I was at, at one of the parties. I was at a dinner. So, you know, and then I'll get my landlord to come next time to the dinner. And she owns a couple of different buildings. And she owns uh, a couple of houses. So, you know, once word gets around, you know, you can have three or four different parties and then you get credit it for the parties. So guys, I'll see you later. I do have some more um, things I got to blog about. Uh, I just got to get uh, up and going. Okay, guys, see you later.